Alright guys, hey there this, hey there everybody, <laughs> sorry this is NDM here, welcome you back to another episode of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Right, so finally I'm recording, it's now 11 o'clock at night, and I feel really tired, I'm not even kidding. My head hurts and everything, so, it's like my commentary isn't as good as what it... Brilliant. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Oh, wait, okay, <laughs> uh, Gobby's here, okay. Alright, so we're going to have to ground pound on him to make him spew out water onto the tree trunk and make it grow. So then we can get ourselves another Jiggy, I think, from that. So that's what we need to do with Gobby, pretty much in this world. So, yeah, he's done and dusted. We don't need to worry about him anymore. So we got ourselves another Jiggy straight up from the start of the video, which I'm kind of impressed at, impressed by. So, we, yeah, we're definitely making progress. Alright, can you actually climb on this? Or do you have to get on top of the trees and get on top of the trunk that way I guess yeah I will record Minish Cap today even though I do feel <laughs> I'm not even joking right now I can't even express just how tired I am I haven't ha I've I went to bed at six o'clock last night because I was up recording Pokemon with Tyler and no six o'clock this morning not six o'clock last night see this is how tired I am can't even tell the time but yeah I um I was up till 6 this morning recording with Tyler and I had to get up the same morning at 11 o'clock to go and get a haircut and ever since 11 o'clock this morning I haven't had any sleep so my head is hurting my eyes are hurting and I just feel so run down it's not even funny <laughs> I can't Ugh. but I'm going to try my best for you guys and hopefully get two videos of Minish Cap done today and Banjo. So I don't really know what to talk about right now. My head is all over the place. <laughs> uh, oh god, right. Well, we gotta go get our notes again. That's something we need to do because we just died at the beginning of the level. Not at the beginning of the level. At the beginning of the video. Dude, what the heck is going on? Oh my god. Right. So... Galactic Cake has now been uploading his Mega Man X videos, so if you want to go check those out, you can. Oh god, we got to try and stand in the right place again to shoot the egg inside his nose. Hopefully by the time I record Minish Cap, my commentary starts to pick up again, but I highly doubt it the way that how I'm feeling right now. It's just not good. <laughs> uh, I'm going to sleep a hell of a load tomorrow, and guarantee you that much. Because I've got to render this and I've got to upload this today because I want to try and get Minish Cap finished tomorrow. Like, that's my main objective, is to get Minish Cap finished tomorrow. Like, recording and everything, so it's all done and dusted. And then we can move on to something else on the next day, because I want to try and get some of the LPs up uh, before the end of the year. So I'm going to do some racing games or something like Snowball Kids. I can't freaking get the aim right on this stupid nose. It's the camera is what messes you up here. Wait, oh, dude, no way did that not go in. Are you kidding me? How about now? No, that's even worse than before. How about, no, that's, that's going to be just as bad. Right. Screw it. How about... Man, I hate the camera. I really do. For fuck's sake. Sorry for my language. Look, you can't! Oh my god. Urgh. I hate this crap. Trying to get your aim right on the keyboard is so hard. I wish I had a full motion joystick. And that's what I was looking for in the game shop when I went to go buying Christmas presents and stuff. I was looking around and they didn't have one. Like, what the hell, dude? Why not have a gaming controller for a PC if you're going to sell PC games? Like, you need a game controller to play PC games like World of, World of Warcraft and stuff like that, I imagine. I don't I don't think that's keyboard-based. Uh, but, yeah, there are some games out there that you need a PC joystick for. And this is one of them. <laughs> Alright, okay, I think the aim's right. Finally, jeez, was that so damn hard? 
Obviously, because it... Oh, great. Now we got to get... Ah! Now we got to try and get up here on the other side. And this thing's going to keep hitting me, and I'm going to take damage from that. And now I'm losing all my honeycomb pieces. Oh, my God, dude. I'm going to die. Wow, this is some superb commentary going on right here. I don't really have much to talk about for this episode. I should have just done this as post-commentary. Like, that would have been a lot better, because all I'd be doing is explaining what I did in the video and stuff like that. You, you know, you wouldn't have to hear me do it live, like I am now, feeling like crap. It's not like I don't want to record, it's just that I feel so crap that it kind of affects the recording and you know it'd be better if I recorded when I wasn't sick because basically I do I feel sick my eyes are hurting my head is hurting my brain is hurting everything's hurting and I'm in a lot of pain and I just wish I wasn't and I have no painkillers either so that's also another downside because if I had painkillers I definitely would have taken those but even then I don't think they would have helped out that much Anyway, right, so we do need to come in here as well because not only we need to get the notes that are in here, we also need to get the Jinjo. And I'm gonna die again, which I am not having happening, right? Okay, I don't want to die from that thing, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and avoid it because obviously there's gonna be so far that you, this thing can go. Yeah, it can only go so far, all right? Okay, that's good. So if we stay down this half of the inside of the pyramid he shouldn't be able to get you so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talent drop my way all the way up here and try and get back without being hit by this giant hand oh god stay away from me <laughs> I mean you no harm seriously all I'm here for is just the notes and the Jinjo and that's it you can do whatever you want <laughs> right so the, the Pokemon episodes that me and Tyler have recorded will get up well the first episode will get recorded um, no uploaded um, tomorrow, I think. That's if he's not doing DKC... Yeah, DKC 1. I was about to say DKC 2. See, that's the one that I recently played, so... <laughs> I haven't played DKC 3. Well, I have, actually. Tell I have played DKC 3. I played a sneak preview of it, and it actually looks quite good. It looks a lot different than the other ones like DKC1 and DKC2. It's just the overworld is so different, the way how you move around in it. It's actually quite interesting. So I might do that game in the future, next year, maybe. I'm not going to do it anytime soon, like I say. I just, I just want to get Minish Cap done, and then we're going to do a bunch of racing games, like uh, Extreme G and Snowball Kids. It's either going to be one of those two. And that's going to be straight after Minish Cap, and then... After we've done the racing games, we will go ahead and start up Mega Man 3, I guess, and continue on the Mega Man series. And then after the Mega Man series, uh, I don't know where to go from there. I've been thinking about doing another one, but I haven't really practiced enough on that game to have a good understanding of what to do in it. Like, I played it briefly, but, you know, you need to play a game like that a lot to fully understand it. And... Because it's one of those kind of games where it's really hard to grind in it. And it's and the enemies are really tough at the start. I'd say the beginning part of the game is probably the hardest part to grind. Because like, you have to kill all these dogs and stuff. You get dogs, snakes, and uh, bats, I think, at the beginning of the game. And they only give like 3 XP per monster. And the bats you fight in groups most of the time, like you did in Earthbound. And the dogs you fight single-handedly, because the game, the way the fighting mechanic in that game is, or how enemies appear, is by random. It's like Final Fantasy uh, kind of stuff going on there. It's not, you know, Earthbound uh, battle system. It's, yeah, basically. Well, it's the way. It's the same way in Earthbound how you fight physically, but like the way how you start a battle. It's not the same. You don't actually run into the enemy and then you start the fight. It happens randomly in that game. Like in Pokemon as well, if you want to use another example. I don't know why I use Final Fantasy though. <laughs> well, that's another game I've had on my mind recently too for an LP is Final Fantasy 4. 
because that's the only Final Fantasy game that I've had really good experience with, whereas the rest of the series I'm kind of very unfamiliar about. I mean, I did get Final Fantasy Revenant Wings, but that's more of a strategy-based game. That's not a proper Final Fantasy RPG kind of style of game, you know, like turn-based. Well, it does have turn-based elements in Revenant Wings, but it's like, you know, you command an army. You tell an army to attack a monster and it will go ahead and attack that monster. You command it, and it's basically like you're on a chessboard, I guess. You move the monsters in the way you want to move them, and then you attack whatever monster you want to attack. And you also summon monsters as well and all sorts of things. It's actually quite interesting and fun to play. It's just that with that game, I haven't played it enough either <laughs> to do an LP of it. Because I d because like the beginning part of that game is really tough. And I'm not a very good strategy RPG person. Because that game is actually the first strategy RPG game I've ever played. And... It's okay, it's not bad. Like, it's not, it's not like it's, you know, not playable or anything. It's just really hard to get used to. Because I'm more used to turn-based turn RPGs, because that's the only kind of RPG game I've ever played in my whole life, is turn-based RPG games. You know, like Earthbound, Pokemon. Pokemon's a big part of my childhood, so, huh, yeah. And, uh... What else? Crap, I did not want to do that. Oh my god, I am so dead, guys. I am so dead. Not if I get on that flight pad, though. If I get on it in time, don't slip off now. <laughs> Alright, okay, yeah, as you can see, the, these platforms you have to jump onto to shoot the eggs into the statues. They are very, very skinny platforms to jump on, and it's not easy. Ugh. But yeah, Tyler has warned me about Mother One and said that it is a very difficult game, and trust me, I definitely agree with him. It is a difficult game. Even though it's a turn-based game, and like I say, I'm used to those kind of games, still, they definitely upped the difficulty in it and spiced it up compared to Pokemon, because Pokemon is an easy, basic, standard RPG, because... Uh, well, if you want the most basic RPG in, in the whole RPG genre, then Pokemon is probably your best bet to start off with. And if you don't like Pokemon, then you're obviously not going to like Earthbound or any of those games, because they're much more advanced RPG games. Because, you know, you have to worry about different characters. You have to equip them with different att attributes. You have to boost their defense by giving them certain items. You have to boost their attack by using certain items, you have to boost their agility and all sorts of things like that, you know, it's a very complex system of RPG style in those kind of games, whereas in Pokemon all you got to do is just level up your Pokemon and make them stronger, like, that's not really, like, Earthbound, because you do build up your characters in Earthbound, but you have to worry about their stats as well, whereas in Pokemon you can just use a Pokemon and blaze in and fight, but the only real strategy in Pokemon is to actually find out the other Pokemon's weakness and which Pokemon is best to use against the opposing one. So, yeah, you, you want to use your Talon Trotten here, because if you spend too much time in this place, you're going to get killed, I think. <laughs> and we don't want to get killed, so. Also the Grunty switch is in here as well, which is not cool. I'd rather the Grunty Switch be in some place that was a little bit more friendly. I think it's actually around here somewhere. I know it's near the end. Oh, there it is, right there. Okay, we're not going to get out of here, there's no way. Well, there's the Grunty Jiggy. Like, we need to get out of here fast. We need to blaze it, man. Blaze it! Get out of here! Run! Kazooie, run like the wind! Yeah, we definitely made it. There's no way we're gonna fail. Yeah, see, I do remember that place kind of well. It's not really that hard to get around. It's quite easy. Right, so there's also a ginger in here as well, as you can hear it. Oh, and a mumbo token as well. Nice. Right, okay. I think it's in the other pot around here. It should be. 
And it's the purple one. Alright. There we go. So I think that's four jiggies now. We got? Yeah. We got four. Alright. So we're making progress, I guess. Like, I don't want to record this for too long because I've got Zelda to do and I want to get Zelda done because I'm so eager to start recording that. Uh. Right. Where are we going to go next then? Where will our journeys take us now? Well, there is one place I want to go. And I know where the green ginger is because we got that last time as well. Yeah, the green ginger is up here. At the back of this pyramid. And then I guess the last ginger is the orange one, isn't it? And I think I have a rough idea of where that is. Well, hey, you just passed your best note score. Yippee! <laughs> oh yeah, we also hit, need to hit the honeycomb switch to make that appear. Yeah, so when you die, you have to do all this crap again. <laughs> so make sure you don't die, otherwise you're going to suffer the consequences. And the world that I'm not looking forward to that happening is World 9. Because World 9, boy, I tell you, if you die in that world, you have to collect everything all over again. And that world is very different to these worlds. And you'll see how different it is when we get there. Alright, did I hit the switch on top of the... No, I didn't. Okay. That's what I'm going to do now, then. And this will probably be the last Jiggy I'll get in this episode. Uh, because this was quite a long Jiggy. Quite a long Jiggy to get. You have to do a bunch of ground pounding on the panels. And uh, you have to... Basically, it's basically like um, snap. You have to match up the... Um, match up the puzzle blocks to represent the same... Uh, well, basically you have to... Like, if there's a banjo and another banjo, then that's... A snap, basically. Alright, I want to use my gold feather here just to kill this thing. Because that's the only way you're going to kill those is with the golden feather. You can't kill them by using manual attacks. Alright, I want to get this as well. Alright, let's start this. Right, okay, I need to... Because I know it's the same way, or the same pattern, every time you play the game. So, I need to kind of remember this. <laughs> so, last time I did this, I really messed up when I played it on my last playthrough. Mumbo. Where are you, Mumbo? Okay, I know where the red feather is, right here. Kazooie? We haven't found Kazooie, I think. No, that's a Jinjo, dude. Oh, right. Jinjo and Jinjo right next to each other. Egg. Oh, me and Devin, me, um, Devin and Tyler were playing Smash Brothers earlier, and he was using the invincible Yoshi egg to try and beat us. Well, Banjo was around here somewhere, I know he was. And so was Kazooie. Was this Kazooie? No, that's Banjo. Right, okay, so Banjo was down here, wasn't he? No, there's the honeycomb. <laughs> Damn it! Okay, I know where Kazooie is. This is Kazooie, right? No, that's Banjo! <laughs> My god, dude. Okay, right, this is Kazooie. No, that's Mumbo! Oh god. Right, there's Mumbo. There's well this must be the egg then, I guess. No, that's the honeycomb. That's Kazooie, right, okay, we found Kazooie. There's Kazooie. Honeycomb and then honeycomb, right? Yeah, and then Egg and Egg. Right, we did it. First try. Wow, awesome. <laughs> okay, I thought I was gonna mess up on the first try, but luckily I didn't. Saves us time. So we got five. Well, I don't know what else to do. If there's any other jiggies we can get, like really easy ones at this point. Uh, well, let's have a look around anyway and see what we can do. Uh, we haven't actually explored this part of the world yet, so we're going to go up here. Let's see what's going on all the way up here. Oh god, leave me alone, hand. I don't, I don't want to be messed... Oh shit, no, I didn't want to do that yet. You don't have the move. You need the um, sneakers to help you run faster. Sadly, we don't have the sneakers, but the sneakers are around here. And also, I think there's a honeycomb thing around here as well, so we can get our health back. Yeah, luckily there is. Right, I think the move is actually up on the quicksand hill. No, uh, that, well that's where the sneakers are, where's the move then? 
That's what I'm more interested in. Where, where is the move? Oh, this is really deep quicksand we're in here. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's around here, that's right. Okay, I found it. I know where it is. Yeah. It's up here. Right. Give me my move now. <laughs> so we can do some stuff. These are the running shoes. Beaky wears them on her scrawny feet to make her run really fast for a limited time. Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Well, it isn't really that low because we got a bunch of honeycomb pieces from the stack. They had all these bees hovering around it. Right, okay, I think there is a bunch of sneakers down here that we can get, which we do need. <coughs> Damn, I sneezed. <laughs> I sneezed. Sorry about that. That was a bit loud, actually. I don't know how that's going to turn out on the microphone. Crap. Oh, I hate that. Using Kazooie with the... Dude, if I die now, I'm actually going to be really... You can't. You can't even get out of here. What the heck? Because if you let go of A, you're just going to... You can't move while you jump. No, there's no way. See the... Well, maybe you can. Ah, oh, right, okay, well, hang on a second. Right, if I, if I take damage now, then I'm going to have to end off the episode here and make a save state, because I'm not making a cut for this. Right, okay. Oh, we did it. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Yeah, I'm going to have to end it off here, right? So, you know what, guys, I'm going to end off the episode here and continue on the next episode. Um, so, in the next episode, let's play Banjo-Kazooie. We shall... Uh... Do s finish up World 6, I guess. Um, I want to see if I can get this. No, I can't. You need to have the sneakers for definite. Right, so I will see you then.